Take it away, Mike. Thanks, guys. So, Josh, I mean, there's an awful lot of pressure on Combine and Pro Day. You've got some of the top teams in the league. They're head coaches, GMs out here. Do you feel the pressure, or are you just kind of having some fun and embracing the moment? Just having fun embracing the moment. And I was talking over there. I was in junior college a few years ago. Um, so to be here sitting in this spot, talking to these NFL executives, it's a, it's a dream come true. And it's, a lot of, it's something that a lot of people never would have saw coming. It's got to be surreal. I mean, we're talking about a kid, folks, that was six foot three, 180, and didn't have a scholarship offer. And to several years later now, the entire NFL's out here talking about you as a first-round pick. I mean, you pinch yourself? Sometimes, yeah. It is surreal. Um, you know, but this is the only thing I've ever wanted to do in my entire life. So sitting here, it's, it's something that I've always dreamt of. And seeing it kind of unfold right before my eyes has been really fun. I was talking to your mom and dad before you threw, and your mom was saying, hey, when, before the combine, when I saw him smiling and laughing with a group of guys, I knew he'd be relaxed and throw well. How did you feel today? Felt relaxed. You know, we came out, and we'd been working on this script for a while. Uh, you know, had to switch some things up, adjust with receiver position, but, you know, they went out there. They did everything they could for me, um, made me look good out there. So happy to be part of this group, happy to have Jordan Palmer as my quarterback coach here, um, you know, guide me along every step of the way. About a year ago, you had to make a decision about whether or not to come out in the draft a year ago. And Carson Wentz, who obviously played at North Dakota State with your head coach, Craig Bowl, I heard you guys had a pretty impactful conversation. Can you share some of that? Yeah, I mean, he he just kind of talked to me. I spoke from his heart, um, told me how mentally demanding being an NFL quarterback is. Um, He said, if you're not ready for it, you know, you could be out of the league in four years. So that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to make sure that you know, I gave myself every opportunity possible to become the best quarterback I can be. So you come back this year, and as a career thrower, obviously everybody asks you about the 56% completion. And I'm always the bad guy at our network. I've got to do the good and the bad. Mm-hmm. So I've watched about every throw you've made. Talk a little bit about your perception of why you were at 56%, and then take us forward with what you've been working on technically to get better. You know, I think going back and watching the film, you know, I really dove into – how I was throwing the ball. Um, my feet were really jacked up. Um, so any time that I would miss, you know, my feet were out of whack. They weren't sequencing correctly. So getting with Jordan Palmer, um, he was noticing the things that I was doing in my, in my stance, my footwork. He was helping me guide that and uh, fix that. And now I can kind of self-correct, my, uh, self-correct myself. Um, you know, we've been working on it a lot and I think we're coming to good grips here. So I'm gonna take you back. I'm gonna give you a little quiz here, a pop quiz, okay? I'm gonna take you back to Boise. And I'm going to go uh, empty set, yep. threw an interception to, I think it was number two week with a single high safety. What would you see and why would you make the throw? Yeah, so we were, I think, around the 40-yard line. We had a double move from our tight end. Um, I really thought they were going zero, so I changed protection, was expecting uh, pressure right in my face. I uh, made the pump, had a little bit of pressure, and I lofted it up there, not knowing that that backside safety was rolling across the middle. He came and um, you know, he, he got there before our tight end did. So what people need to understand is that was one question I just asked him. And when you're sitting with the coaches and the scouts and up on the board and putting the tape together, he's getting drilled on this kind of stuff. He had no, I mean, all of a sudden he just goes, yeah, it was second and 10 or it was whatever it was, instant recall. And what I've been told is that you've done tremendously well up on the board. And I guess my perspective for you is, do you enjoy that, or is it a lot of pressure? And do you feel like you're showing off a little bit with your football knowledge? You know, it, it's something that you want to go and show off how much you know about the game of football. I um, mean, you know, I wouldn't be in this position, though, without Jordan Palmer. I and mean, I, I keep referring to him because he's helped me out along the way. Um, you know, my coaches here, uh, Brent Vegan and Coach Bull, have helped me all along as well. Um, but getting in with him, going over our old film, uh, knowing that these questions were going to be asked in the, in the film rooms with these coaches. So you got to be prepared, and that's what we did. So I played for a guy years ago by the name of Bill Parcells. Yep. I heard you had an interesting meeting with him recently. Can you share a little bit? Yeah, I mean, uh, we went down to Florida, um, some common friends, and he was able to explain to us, you know, how he, you know, viewed the game of football. And you talk about good recall. You know, he was bringing up conversations from 30 years ago that he was having with his um, players. So, you know, he's a special guy. He's a special football mind. Um, it's a pleasure to meet him. Look, Josh, I, can, I, I just want to wish you all the luck in the world. I love to see the small school guy come out and play the way you've played. I think your work, work ethic, intensity, passion, love of the game shows through. We haven't even talked about your arm talent. We all know it's there. So yeah. good luck and thanks for spending some time with yeah. us. Thank you for having me on. Appreciate it.